Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Peyton Yeager. A local community is mourning the loss of four people who police say were shot and killed by a man before he killed himself. 41 year old Kevin Malazzo allegedly shot and killed four year old Hunter Freeman, the son of a former girlfriend, his 21 year old son Joshua Malazzo, his 61 year old mother Connie Mims, his 68 year old stepfather Bill Mims. Tonight, a former coworker of the suspect is trying to make sense of something so senseless. And the church of his mother and stepfather are grieving the loss. Fox 4's Davidson Tendry joins us live right now. David. Well, Peyton, the church held service this morning just one day after the killing spree. And really, the pastors say this is a close-knit community. They are more like a family. They know everyone involved, some young, some old. And right now, they are having to rely on faith to move forward. This was not God's doing. This was pure evil. And this was someone with a sick mind. Debbie and Lonnie Keel are pastors at Community Chapel in Corsicana. They've known many families throughout their decades of service, but Bill and Connie Mims. The attachment is closer than a family. Were as close as any. Very faithful members. Here's Bill recently playing guitar at a service. But a few miles away from the sanctuary, Corsicana police say the couple was shot and killed inside their home by Connie's son, 41 year old Kevin Malazzo, overnight Friday. Two other family members were shot there too and are in a hospital. It's like the inside of us is just quivering. Police say the killer did not stop there. He went to a second home and killed his 21 year old son, Joshua Malazzo, and he killed four year old Hunter Freeman, who's the son of his former girlfriend, identified by family as Patty Freeman. She survived and is being treated in a hospital. There's just a big hole in our hearts. Detectives tracked the suspect's vehicle by GPS and were able to have the vehicle disabled remotely. SWAT officers approached it, but found Kevin Malazzo killed himself. He just had a lot of problems. I knew he had his issues. Russell Maddox says he was Kevin Malazzo's supervisor at a welding company. He's at one crime scene to pray. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Police are not saying what led to the killings. Bill and Connie, they love their children. They love their grandchildren. The pastors say Connie and her husband were giving, even to ones they didn't know. Because she would just pick up anybody on the side of the road. I would say to her, Sister Connie, do you even know them? No, I don't know them, but they need help. And I'm gonna help them. This family did not deserve this. Police have not given us an update on the conditions of the three others who were shot, only saying they have been transported to regional hospitals. Peyton, back to you.